the octopod! I see it, I see it! We're almost there, Mum! Yes, dear. I'm so excited to see my big brother, the octonaut. I hope they get here soon. Pinto, Mum, you're here! I can't wait to ask Peto about his adventures. And look, Mum, we get to swim through the octa hatch. See how it opens? Isn't that cool? Yes, dear. We're here! I hope Peto's waiting for us up in the launch bay. Mum, Pinto! Peso! I'm so happy to see you! Oh, Peso, let me look at you. Are you eating enough and getting enough sleep? Mum... Tell me about your undersea adventures, Peso. How many creatures have you saved? I reckon you're the bravest of all the octonauts. Oh, that's not true. I'm just... One of the most valuable members of the crew. You should be very proud of Peso. My son, the medic. Are you ready to watch the Iron Clan, Pinto? I am. Actually, I have a big surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Well, since Hugo wins every year, this year no other penguin was brave enough to go up against him. Oh, don't tell me they're cancelling the race. They were going to, until your little brother had his brilliant idea. Yep, I saved the race by finding the one penguin brave enough to compete against Hugo. Great. Who? You! <gasps> Me? Is this a joke? Nope. But I could never beat Hugo. Of course you could. You're my big brother and you can do anything. My son, the athlete. Hugo pulls out ahead of Peso. Come on, Peso. You can do it. Oh, don't let him get ahead oh, of you. Go for it, Peso. You got lucky last round, but not this time, Peso. Yo ho! Hey, hey, go, go! Uh oh. Look out! Oh no! There's been a terrible accident. Quasi, let's move in as close as we can and get them out of there. Aye, aye, Captain. Luckily, Peso and Hugo can hold their breath for a long time. Oh, Peso! Oh. Uh. Where is he? Is he okay? Uh. Uh. Hugo, you've hurt your flipper, but I don't think it's broken. This seaweed bandage should make you feel better. Ah, it does. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! I'm so proud of you, Peso. You won the contest and you saved Hugo. My son, the hero. <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut V near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. 
So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Play! <laughs> but don't go far, little matey! Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again! I see, Shell. You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> what is it, little matey? <coughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Look, over there. Um, excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? <laughs> yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, my goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh... Great! Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacle's out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. Mmm, <laughs> lunch is served. <laughs> yeah! ah! Lunch is cancelled. <sighs> He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. Ha-ha! <laughs> <Huh? laughs> He's your mother! Oh, my baby. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut and a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye and thank you. What's that, Tunip? You found some strange objects in the garden pod? Well, let's go! Jumping jellyfish. They're eggs. But who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler! Come out wherever you are! A snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes, it was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No, no. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. 
But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There! Aha! So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. Aha! Prepare to be rescued, sea crate! No! Stop right there! I am so getting off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great! But, um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! 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 Captain! Dashi! Come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Ah, one of them's missing. What's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use, we're getting sucked in. We're caught in the whirlpool. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Yay, water! Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice, safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. 
Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters <laughs> around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington! Everybody, this is my sister Pearl the sea otter. Oh, hiya! Hi, Hello! Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet? Uh, not exactly, but I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with a kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Ah, uh, well actually as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Oh, usually I can keep the urchins under control all by myself, but lately I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Oh, oh, look at look him. how fuzzy he is. But he's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Per is a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh no, sweetie, that's a rock. Shellington, how's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. Urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef, there's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. It's working. The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts! That's the last one, Kip! Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops! Missed one! <laughs> You did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> Just a little bit further. We're here! But where is your sister's den? I can't see anything but snow. Barnacles! Bianca! Oh, good to see you. Oh, where are the cubs? They're right here. It's their first time out of the den, so they may be a little shy. Whoa, it's bright out here. And big. I wonder how big. Better find out. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Orson, 
Ursa, meet your Uncle Barnacles. Should we call you Uncle Barnacles or Captain Uncle Barnacles? Just Uncle Barnacles. <laughs> Mum says you're strong. I wonder how strong. Strong enough to carry you two on my back. <laughs> and Mum says you're brave. How brave? Brave enough to be an octonaut. And I'd like you all to meet my fellow octonaut, Peso. Hello. We're brave too. And strong. Watch this. <laughs> Reminds me of the way we used to play together when we were cubs. Really? Oh, yes. That's how polar bear cubs develop their polar bear strength. We wrestled all the time, didn't we? And I used to knock you over like a feather. <laughs> That's why I used to call him Feather Paws. You called the captain Feather Paws? Uh, uh, excuse me while I check in on things back on the octopod. Come on, Uncle Barnacle. Let's go! All right, cubs. You're about to begin a journey that all polar bears have made for as long as any of us can remember. And we're the only bears in the world who make this journey. So, are you ready to go? Ready! And earn your first Polar Scout badges. <gasps> yes! Then let's get started by climbing that. Now take it slow. Pull with the front paws. Push with the back paws. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Got it. Made it. And now we slide down on our tummies like this. <laughs> Well done, Cubs. Now it's time to use my favorite Polar Scout skill. Hup. Swimming! Follow me, Cubs. Whee! <laughs> use your paws like paddles in the water. Form a line, everyone, and stay close. Tired. <gasps> Me too. We'll find a nice flow soon and take a rest. <gasps> Over there. Hmm. There's a colony of walruses on that ice flow. Walruses are very territorial. They don't like to share their ice flow with anyone. We'll find another ice flow. Come on. <sighs> I'm not afraid of walruses. Are you? No. Come on. Hey, this ice flow is walruses only. Who says? We do. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The cubs. It'll be tough to get to the cubs from the outside of the ice flow, but if we could pop up on the inside. I'll be right back, Captain. <laughs> Excuse me, walruses. Oh, where did that penguin come from? Yeah, penguins don't belong in the Arctic. What's a penguin? If you'll just move aside, the cubs and I will be on our way. Uh, not so fast, penguin. Uh, let him go. You're not the chief around here, I am. Hey, how come I never get to be the chief? Because you're not big. Let's and get out of here. Weather. Oh, yeah. On a count of three, well, we dive under and set. make a break for it. One, two, three. <laughs> hey? You see, you've let them get away now. No, you let them get away. I never. Yes, you did. We did Hooray! it. Thank you, Peso. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. No more swimming off on your own, Cubs. Would you like to ride on my back for a while? Yes, please. How about I take one and you take the other? Do you see any ice sheds, Uncle Barnacles? Not yet. The solid sea ice is further away than usual this year. Yeah. Captain, I found a big ice flow up ahead. Wonderful. Yes. Good work, Peso. Lead the way. <laughs> there it is. Here we are. I love it. 
Oh, perfect. Now, that was a very long swim. How nice to take a rest. Uh, don't get too comfortable. This ice flow is melting. We're two paws lower in the water today. But there's only so much swimming a polar bear can do, eh? I swam here all the way from Canada. It's been tough to find good solid sea ice this year. Tough, huh? Try impossible. Nothing but water between here and Norway. And there's no ice any closer to Greenland. So we've come from all around the Arctic. Norway, Greenland, Canada and Alaska. Hmm. And none of us have made it to the solid sea ice. Perhaps if we swim just a little further north. Oh, I have come from the north, from Russia. And there is no ice for miles and miles around. This is the only place where I can rest my weary paws. I've got you. Stay close, you two. Got you. Oh, thank goodness for your strong paws, Captain. Oh dear, we are now four paws lower in the water. And sinking. Looks like you could use a little backup, Captain. Oh, thanks for coming, Octonauts. Oh, give me whiskers. Leave no bear behind. Octonauts, let's do this. Monster map. <clears throat> Quasi, activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. 